All right, so a few hours ago, Bandai released a seventh anniversary uh, preview video, and this is separate from the live stream they're also gonna be doing in a couple days. But this video did provide us with a lot of information about the upcoming celebration. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown of all the highlights to get you fully up to date. Okay, so with that said, let's jump right into it. And as you can see, we're starting with the seventh anniversary logo with the Goku and Vegeta, with Goku holding the Dragon Ball. Looks great. From there, let's move on to the next thing they talked about, which is the uh, login bonus. As you can see, we got some Dragon Stones, we got the Anniversary Coins, and uh, we have some Kais, and of course, we have tickets. So this one is the uh, just regular Anniversary Ticket for the General Anniversary Banner, but we also have the return of the Rainbow Tickets, and if things work like they did last year, then the rainbow tickets will be usable in part two of the celebration on both the uh, dual Dokkan Fest banners as well as the part two LR banner, which is awesome. So that is the login bonus. And then after that, they talked about the uh, guaranteed LR banner. So this year we have the 77 unit summon banner and uh, the big difference between this banner and the ones from before is that this year this banner will guarantee you three LRs three units that can be token awakened into LRs when you do the summon and not only that you don't actually have to collect 77 tickets to get your three guaranteed LRs you only need 50 tickets 50 tickets to do your summon and get three units that can be fully token awakened into an LR unit and of course there will also be a uh, Dragonstone equivalent to this banner if you don't want to use the ticket or rather if you want to have an extra multi with guaranteed LRs and I'm assuming it's going to be between 250 stones to 300 stones I think last year it was 250 and the year before that was 200 so if we go by the trend if you follow the pattern then this year it should be 300 stones which would be quite a bit but three guaranteed LRs is kind of hard to pass up, you know, but at the same time, of course, there is the free version of this banner with the tickets, so everybody will get at least three guaranteed LRs with the ticket summon, and uh, in terms of the units on the banner, we have the uh, Godku and Hit, we have the uh, Goku from the Exchange Goku and Vegeta, or sorry, we have the Vegeta from the Exchange Goku and Vegeta, we have uh, Gohan and Krillin, and then behind that we have a few non dokkan Fist units, but they're all really good, like the SDR Cell, the Tech Piccolo, the uh, Int Frieza, as well as the AGL Gotenks, and uh, basically every other non dokkan Fest LR before the God Ku and Hit will be available to be pulled on this uh, banner. So there you go, the 77 unit guaranteed LR banner is also coming back. And then, after that, they talked about, let's see, okay, so there's going to be two new story events, and it seems like the theme of the events this year is family, <laughs> so Dom Toretto would be very proud. Um, the first event is about Goku and Chi Chi and their relationship, and then the other event will be about Vegeta and Bulma and their relationship, and each of these units, or each of these events, will give us a new free-to-play unit, namely the uh, Goku and Chi-Chi event will give us a new free-to-play Chi-Chi, while the Vegeta and Bulma event gives us a new Vegeta, which really doesn't make a lot of sense to me, because shouldn't it be Chi-Chi and Bulma instead of Chi-Chi and Vegeta? I mean, we have enough Vegeta cards in this game at this point. Um, I don't really understand it. Maybe maybe once both of these units token awaken uh they're both gonna be goku and vegeta or sorry uh <laughs> like chi chi's gonna become goku and chi chi and then vegeta's gonna become vegeta and bulma so maybe it doesn't matter either way um we can assume that both of these units will token awaken and also have extreme z awakenings later on so yeah that's my prediction i think uh, once these units token awaken, it's going to be both characters anyways, so it doesn't really make a difference. But uh, it's just kind of funny that it's not Chi-Chi and Bulma, but rather Chi-Chi 
and Vegeta. But yeah, those are the two new free-to-play units, or two of the free-to-play units that we're going to be getting for the anniversary. And uh, from there, we also have another new story event, which is going to be focused on Gohan, Goten, and Trunks and their relationship. And like I said, the theme apparently this year is family. And even though Trunks is technically not in the Sun family, um, they're basically one big family anyways, so it kind of works. So yeah, another new story event as well as a new free-to-play unit. And we have the Gohan riding a bicycle. And this is the unit that I believe this year will token awaken into an LR with an Extreme Z Awakening. I think once it's all said and done, it's going to be a Gohan Goten and Trunks LR, or at the very least, it's going to be a Gohan and Goten LR. But I'm hoping Trunks also makes it because that would just be a bit of a shaft, you know? So uh, there you go. Yeah, new free to play Gohan as far as we know right now. But I believe, once again, this will become an LR uh, later on in the celebration. So yeah, there you go. And from there, we have this new event, which provides uh, skill orbs specifically for Goku and Vegeta units. And uh, they're not regular skill orbs, they're actually EX skill orbs, which means that they can be reused. And we also have this other new event. Um, I forgot the name. I believe Goresh did translate it, but essentially this is the uh, new super challenging event for this anniversary. And there's going to be two different ones. One is uh, battling against the uh, bad guys in GT. And then the other one is fighting against uh, movie bosses. Now, I'm pretty sure we don't have any details right now about how these stages will actually work. Like, if it's going to be Super Battle Road style, where you go from battle to battle. Or if it's going to be one continuous thing, kind of like the Legendary Goku event or, uh, you know, Infinite Dragon Ball history. Either way... All I'm really hoping is that these will be legitimately challenging. You know, like I actually want them to be pretty hard. So uh, we'll see about that. But new hard event right there versus uh, GT bosses or what's it called again? What's the actual category? GT heroes, GT, is it GT bosses? GT villains? I forgot the category name. You guys know what I'm talking about though. And then the other one is uh, movie bosses. And after that, they talked about, let's see, oh, okay, here we go. So we have the reveal of the dual Dokkan Fest LRs, and I think yesterday a lot of us overreacted a little bit or jumped the gun a little bit, because uh, as soon as I saw God Goku and God Vegeta in the global database, um... I immediately assumed they were going to fuse into Gogeta, right? Like, that just makes sense. But as it turns out, the God Goku and God Vegeta, which is going to be one of the LRs for this upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest, they transform. They transform into Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And uh, this looks amazing. I mean, I love the art for both the God Goku and God Vegeta, and also the Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta. I just thought there would be a fusion, but no. There's no fusion, they transform, and that's great too. So it's not going to be a double Gogeta celebration, guys. Uh, that's my bad for <laughs> just getting a little bit too excited yesterday. Um, I was like 100% convinced it was going to be Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And the other one was accurate, you know, like we are getting a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which uh, transforms or fuses from a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. By the way, how freaking clean do the arts look for both of these units? I mean, the Super Saiyan 4s, man, it just looks so badass, you know, like this is probably the most badass they've ever looked in Dokkan at least. And then the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta looks great too. And then going back to the uh, God Goku and Vegeta and the Blue Goku and Vegeta. I mean, I've always loved this uh, scene from the movie where they're like back to back. And uh, to finally have it as a card in the game is awesome. So I'm definitely not complaining about it. I'm definitely not disappointed that we aren't getting two Gogetas because I always thought that was kind of weird. It was kind of excessive. 
Um, still no Vegito love, unfortunately. <laughs> so Vegito fanboys will still have to be uh, a little bit sad, a little bit disappointed. But I am 100% okay with this. Uh, between the two, I gotta be honest, I'm definitely team Super Saiyan 4s just because it's Super Saiyan for Gogeta. I mean, come on, it, it's Super Saiyan for Gogeta. So, um, yeah, I am definitely more hyped for this unit, but they both look amazing. I'm sure they're both gonna be stupid broken because this is the seventh anniversary. Um, seven, as you guys know, has a lot of significance in Japan and Japanese culture in general. So uh, there's no way they would shaft these units. You know, this is like an extra special celebration for Dokkan. And I can't wait to see the details. Now, they didn't reveal any details or the animations in this video, which makes sense because they want to save that for the stream, right? So uh, for now, I believe those are all the details we have. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope, nope, nothing. That's it. So yeah, they talked about the LRs. They gave us the arts. And then that was the end of the video. So um guys let me know in the comments down below which one you're more excited for are you team super saiyan 4s or team uh let's say blue boys team blue boys so i am super saiyan 4s but i will definitely be going for both no question and uh yeah it should be a very very good anniversary guys very very good celebration hope you guys are excited um, I'll make sure to keep you guys posted with any new updates that come out over the next couple of days. And uh, even though it's been a while since your boy streamed on this channel, uh, I think I'm going to be doing a live reaction on uh, the 30th with Toonrami, with my boy Jinro, and uh, just bring back streams to the channel very soon. So uh, there you go. That is going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.